officers, members of parliament, Admiral Muhammad Ajmal Khan Niazi, Chief of the Naval Staff, and Managing Director, Pakistan Naval Shipyard, and great workers and managers of this wonderful place to build Pakistan's naval force, excellencies and brothers from Turkey and wonderful officers from Pakistan Navy and Turkish Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. It's a great honor and a privilege to be here this afternoon for the launching ceremony of the state-of-the-art second Milgem class warship being built by a wonderful cooperation and collaboration between Turkish company and Pakistan shipbuilding facility. And I would like to comment and appreciate great efforts under your leadership, Naval Chief, and of course, Defense Minister, and of course, Afsat, Turkish company. This is yet another great example of cooperation between Pakistan and Turkey under very able and dynamic leadership of President Tayyip Erdogan, who is not only a great uh, brother, friend, but also a great supporter of Pakistan's cause, and under his leadership, our mutual fraternal relations have transformed into much higher heights than before. From foreign policy to shipbuilding, from transport to public health, all these great initiatives are being examined and witnessed by both the people. And I think we are standing at a point in time where we can take off these relations to great heights to the mutual benefit of Pakistan and Turkey. Excellency, thank you very much for your time to visit and be our guest along with your delegation at this great occasion and a wonderful, simple yet very wonderful ceremony. I think this cooperation will lead to further strengthening our relations between Pakistan's Navy and Turkish companies and time will come when such ships and uh, bigger ships will be manufactured with Turkish expertise and technology and with Pakistan's total deletion program and Pakistan's own designs. I would like to congratulate you, <coughs> Naval Chief, and your team for this brilliant performance and on time launching this ship despite COVID restrictions is a great achievement and a great success story. I would like all of you to applaud all these officers, our workers, and everybody for this great cause. Pakistan has a long coastline and a resource-rich maritime zone. Our trade and maritime activities are currently centered on the major seaports of Karachi and Port Qasim. The trade activities have the potential to increase many fold with the development of financial and industrial activities. The ongoing China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project is set to translate our desire to enhance regional connectivity and maximize trade and transshipment with Gawadar at its focal point. I would like to avail of this 
opportunity to propose that let this CPAC be a trilateral arrangement between China, Pakistan, and Turkey, and let us benefit from its uh, wonderful potentials to benefit our nations. And I truly believe that Turkey and Pakistan are one nation living in two countries. Our hearts beat together, and our beats match together. I assure this gathering that the government of Pakistan is committed to developing maritime infrastructure along the coast of expansion of trade and economic activities. Finally, I'd like to mention that our brotherly and fraternal relations date back to pre-Pakistan, when Muslims of the subcontinent struggled and launched a movement during the period of the war of Turkish independence. And ever since, Turk brothers and sisters have ingrained in their minds and in their hearts those humble contributions from the Muslims of uh, subcontinent. And yet, the future generations didn't know that a time will come that Turkey will be a great supporter and partner in Pakistan's progress and prosperity. We'll share our sorrows and our happiness together. Remember those devastating floods in 2010. Remember that uh, devastating earthquake in 2005. And there came Turkish delegations, Turkish workers, Turkish philanthropists, their uh, engineers, doctors, nurses, to serve suffering humanity in those areas. Remember in 2010, when Prime Minister, when then Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan, with his lady wife, Amina Erdogan, visited flood-hit areas, were standing with those people who had suffered immensely at the hands of that uh, flash floods, even to the extent that the First Lady of Turkey donated her uh, bracelet, or was it uh, necklace? I think necklace, and donated to that fund for rehabilitation of our millions of brothers and sisters in those areas. I think these are memorable moments, and Pakistani nation would never forget these moments. Ladies and gentlemen, this is most definitely a great moment of pride for our entire Pakistani nation and, of course, our uh, naval force, the chief of uh, our naval force, Brigadier Niazi, uh, General, uh, sorry, Admiral Niazi, and his colleagues. I would certainly like to uh, share these great moments by saying that these great work workers, management of the shipyard, they deserve your huge applause. And I would like to, on behalf of the government of Pakistan, donate a humble amount as their appreciation and uh, bonus, you can call it, of rupees 100 million rupees, 10 crores, for their well being and, of course, for their families. In the end, I would like to thank you, Naval Chief, for inviting me uh, at this ceremony and thank you, uh, Excellency, for visiting us. Pakistan, Turkey Friendship, Zindabad, Tashakar Thank you very much.